2013 really was a, a year of cyclical improvement in the global economy and uh, we really saw that uh, growth improved in nearly all of the regions but the structural issues in a lot of these places really haven't been resolved and as we uh, moved from the macro into the markets what we really saw was that confidence um, from investors continuing to improve about the state of the global economy and of course this fed through to asset markets and really companies with scalable operations uh, clearly were the winners. At the macro point what we did see was that valuation expansion though is really what drove the recovery in 2013 and that really continued the theme we saw from 2012. And, uh, and that's really because uh, earnings growth outside of the US and Japan still remains pretty much elusive. Well, I tend to think that 2014 is going to be a year of earnings delivery and market consolidation. Uh, so from an investment point of view, I think the key is identifying where the risks are and how you actually can manage that. Now, when we look at the global economy, it's pretty clear that things are getting better. But a lot of good news has actually been factored into, the, uh, into market prices. And what that means is I think that 2014 is actually going to shape up and behave a lot like 1984 and 1992. And on both those years, we saw improvements in the global economy, but investment returns both in Australia and the US were, were very modest those years. And, but they were important within the cycle because that enabled uh, earnings to catch up with valuations. When we actually have a look at the, the primary risk in this year to be addressed, I think it's all revolving around the impact of rising US bond yields as the US Federal Reserve continues to taper of interest rates. And so this is going to have flow and effects not only to the emerging markets such as Brazil, India, Indonesia, Turkey, South Africa, but it's also going to have a flow on effects to the European region also. Uh, and it's going to rise, uh, raise uh, regional interest rates uh, at a time where the recovery still remains fragile. So in the end, uh, I tend to think that risks are uh, elevated for 2014 and a focus on operating models, a focus on balance sheets will actually enable investors to address that reasonably well uh, as the market unwinds these excessive valuations which have formed. Returns, I think, are going to be led by the sectors uh, and the uh, thematics where uh, optimistic expectations can be exceeded. So for our global listed companies, uh, there are really three sectors which uh, I think uh, offer some opportunities. They're the stocks exposed to the improving US consumer, the global industrial production cycle and the decline of the Australian dollar. For domestically uh, focused companies, I think it's really going to be those in the cyclical sectors which are showing improvement as the RBA rate cuts continue to flow through the economy, uh, I tend to think they're the ones which are going to outperform. We're really looking for uh, quality yield plays where companies can grow their earnings, uh, can increase their dividends uh, and uh, don't have too much price depreciation associated with their operating model. Um, and there are risks to, uh, those companies will do well, risks are out there still to be managed. Uh, but I tend to think that uh, it's those quality operating models which are, are going to uh, improve the wealth and grow the wealth for investors. Mm -hmm.